I want you inside me. Whoa. What? Inside you? No. Like, paint something inside me, silly. Oh, painting. I can't wait to see you. All right, I'll see what I could do. Okay, guys, so as you guys just saw, we're going to be painting on our computer. As you guys can see right now, I don't have that much real estate in the front of the computer. Uh, but I do have some real estate right about here. And so I'm going to just sew this out. I'm going to take the finish off of it. I'm going to just sew it out and I'm going to put a little painting. I don't know what I'm going to paint yet, but... I'm gonna stare at it for a while and then come back to you guys and let you know what I'm gonna paint. But in the meanwhile, I think I'm gonna do a little portrait or something. Mostly because this is a lot of real estate and I feel like I could do two, two different portraits and then I could take the sticker off of the other side and uh, do a portrait here. But let's see one at a time. So today we're gonna actually do one portrait or something i don't know if it's gonna be a a pet or what is it but uh enjoy me preparing the computer so we can paint on it So after taping off the sides and taking my nail polish remover, the, I used the 100% pure acetone. Um, you guys can see right here that this is smooth. And the reason is because it doesn't have the protection layer and it's just uh, bare on the computer. So right now, so that the uh, paint could bind to the computer, so it won't be on the hard plastic, I'm gonna be taking this just so and I'm going to be gessoing this right here. So for the gesso, I'm actually going to come into this little brush set right here. And this brush right here is going to be perfect for layering something coats of gesso. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this little pink cap right here. I just dropped something. I'm going to take that. I'm going to pour some gesso right here. And I'm about to give it its first coat. Oh, and I also took some of my water and I put it on a napkin and I passed it on top in case there was any leftover acetone. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be there no more. So first layer, here we go. So I stick it on really thick as you guys could see. Uh, just so is something that, that I don't mind laying in thick. And the reason is because it's cheap and it really helps the surface, the paint bind to the surface. So even if I'm doing this on paper, I would just sew this out so it could be perfect. So after this first layer of gesso, what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to let this dry. I'm probably going to put the the blow gun on it, the 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 hair dryer on it. So it could heat up fast. I don't actually I don't even know if I want to do that because it's on my computer. Um and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to sand it down a little bit and then I'm going to I'm going to actually put some more gesso on it. So this this thing of gesso is going to be done by the time we finish this. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just finished gessoing and sketching out my drawing. And this is the drawing. This is Luna right here. This is one of my friend's dogs. And I love her to death. She's a good little puppy. 
Uh, she likes to play a lot, and she's really a loving dog. So I wanted to have her here. My friend has cats, but I only like one of the cats, the yellow cat, and then the other ones. They only like me for snacks, so I don't really play with them that much. But let's uh, draw Luna real quick, and then I'm going to draw probably the yellow cat because that's my favorite one. We are, yeah, I said it, we are. This is Fire Nation, Pledge of Allegiance. All black everything, black cars, black tars, all black everything. Luna, up, 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 sit, Luna, sit, sit, off the, off the side, get off the side of the couch, so, all right, down, down, good girl, okay guys, so right here I'm getting to the end of this portrait, and I'm drawing the bottom lip of the dog, and I didn't go into that much detail for this painting, because I realized that all the real estate area that I thought I had, I really didn't have it. I only had like a little bit of a space to work with and I didn't have brushes that were small enough to work in those spaces. So I decided to blur some parts out like the bottom whiskers, uh, I blurred them out and I try to do my best to blend that lip in so that it could look like it had a few pieces of hair protruding and yeah. Then I hit it with some varnish, I put the dog's name at the corner, and that was it. I hope you guys enjoy watching the finished product, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace, and I'm out.